sort of having this starter team, make it a beast team. We'd obviously get yourself on the description below, get yourself to use 7 buy, get yourself some cheap, reliable coins, and don't forget to use King with a cheeky 5% off. Right, let's get into the video. Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Dynamic Duo SBC. Today we have the Dynamic Duo of Anatovic, uh, Anatovic and I I'm going to call him Posh. I don't think it's pronounced Posh, but yeah. Uh, and obviously the bonus reward group pack, which is a mixed players pack, which is a little bit more expensive than what we've been getting, which is normally a 7.5k pack. But yeah, this is not too bad. It's from Bologna in the Italian League. Obviously, I've already got the players on concept, so we can go straight into them. Uh, which is, they're both actually pretty decent. The centre back looks better than Anatovic, but Anatovic is definitely, I think, going to be a player that you can use lengthy, especially as he's 6 foot 4, medium low work rates, 4 star, 4 star. 85 rated, 83 pace, 86 shot, 82 passing, 82 dribbling, 47 defense, 85 physicality. In-game stats, they're pretty good all round, to be honest. Um, 81 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 83 attack position, 85 finishing, 88 shot power, 86 long shots, 83 volleys and pens. 84 vision, 80 crossing, 75 free kick accuracy, 84 short passing, 77 long passing, 82 curve. Again, really good stats. 74 agility and 80 balance is really good considering he's 6 foot 4. 83 reactions, 86 ball control, 82 dribbling, 83 composure. 84 head and accuracy, terrible defending stats, of course. 83 jumping, 81 stamp, 89 strength, and 82 aggression. Does have the flair and outside foot shot trait, which everyone loves to have. And then we got the uh, Zaposh, uh, or I pronounce his name as this card, looks really good. 85 rated centre back, 83 pace. Uh, Beautiful. 40 shots, 60 passing, 55 dribbling, 85 defensive, 83 physicality, 6 foot 2, medium, medium work rates, 2 star, 3 star. And then we get into the in game stats. So 77 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, 83 short passing, 75 long passing, really good for a centre back, 56 agility, mm, 72 balance is not bad, 84 reactions, ball control dribbling, naff, 83 composure. Then he's getting to the good stuff, 83 interceptions and head and accuracy. Ambulance, 84 defense awareness, 87 stand tackle, 83 slide, 82 jumping, 78 stamp, 86 strength, and 8 aggression. No traits on it, but yeah, very good, decent looking cards. And at the moment, you can get these done so cheap. But guys, before we get into it, please listen to me, otherwise you will overpay. Uh, the way I've done this, I've been able to get away with slightly finessing the way EA have decided to use the requirements of needing Team of the Weeks. So, before we get into it, you buy know by now these are foot bin by now prices the time doing this SBC which has been out for half an hour. Business stocks of course or will always be cheap well, always be cheap and don't forget prices do fluctuate. If please listen to this video. If you don't then you look at my pictures and you've overpaid. So if you are listening, let's get into it. Uh, requirement you need one Sierra our player, very easy to do, don't need to worry about that. Alberto's the cheap one of the cheap eighty three rated cards. Team of the week. Minimum of one. There is a bronze team of the week card at the moment. He's 3k max at the Mo. Uh, he was around 2 to 2.5 when I started it. He's a little bit lower than 3k at the moment, but I put him at 3k. That, for a team of the week, is silly money. That's only if you don't have a team of the week card, by the way. Also, if he's 64 rated card, this team of the week does go up in price. Because there's only one bronze in form. There is also Davidson and Rios, both silver rated, both around 5.5 to 6k at the moment. Still 4k cheaper than any team of the week card, which is still cheaper. If you are using a silver team of the week, guys, you can get away with one less 84 rated player. You can put another 83 instead of two 84s, but you need two 84s with the 64 rated team of the week card. Um, so this is a smack bang on 83. I don't think you can throw an 82 rated card in. I did not try. Let me double check. I don't think you can. Uh, I'd be very surprised if you can throw in an 82. Let's just see. Rakitic. No. So yeah, this is the lowest you can get away with. So it's 284s, uh, 246, 883s, and that's 64 rated in form. Or if you're using the 71 rated or 72, you put in Hoiberg and Rios. And as you can see, it's 83 rated as well. Uh, this is only do this method if you do not have a team of the week, if you don't have a team of the week. If you have an untradeable team of the week, throw it in there like literally that's just, that's the easiest thing to do but this is ridiculously cheap because of these the silver in four uh the bronze in forms even the silver in forms make this cheaper than what it should be so it's good to see that we can get around ea's tip of the weight requirements so yeah as i was saying um zhang ying feng uh only bronze team of the week card at the moment is at 3k at the mo or under 
Don't forget this card will go up in price as people use it, so just bear that in mind. Um, then it's 284s, Berardi and Kalinoglu. They're both from the Italian league. Anyhow, they're both 1s 2k, 1s 2.1k, two cheapest of the rest. Uh, Angelino, Cabal, uh, Alberto, Pereira, Koke, and Stones were 850 coins when I was doing this. And then Buaman and Torres were 900 coins. Prices are fluctuating around with these 80 rated, uh, 83 rates. So this was 14k. So like you're looking around 14k at the moment but again that could easily change it varies uh again if you have to put a silver plane you've got in another 3k but you can take a k off so i mean you're looking anything i'd say between 12 and 13 and 16k at the moment if you haven't got a team of the week card which is still cheap considering you need a team of the week card so yeah smart there and that one gives you an outage the requirements are literally the same for each so you'll see the difference apart from prices have just gone up a little bit more again as you can see the 71 and 72 rated are on the bench the 64 rated is in there which means you need two 84s if you use one of these two you need to, uh, you can get away with another 83 and 184 just bear that in mind the requirements are pretty much the same 83s are slightly different because as i said the prices have gone up a little bit but yeah Zhang Yimfeng, again, he's 3k at the moment, uh, so just bear that in mind, he might go up. Just just buy him if he's still less than the Silver Team of the Week cards, um, and I can't see the Silver Team of the Week cards becoming more expensive than the Gold ones, so yeah, dubs there. Uh, Berardi and Kalinoglu, again, 2 and 2.1k. Then we've only got Koke, Soler, and Roberto, obviously, they're 850, and then everyone was 900. Pereira, Fernando, Jimenez, Arujo, and Cobble went up to 900 coins, so a little bit more expensive, 14.15k again. But again, you're looking between 13 and 16k to do this. So you are really looking around. I got this done for like 28.15k to get both of them done. Uh, that just depends on how long uh, that bronze team of the week stays kind of cheap. You'd, I'm just going to say anything between 27.5 and 32.5 because prices could go up a bit. Or you have a silver team of the week. Or if you have two team of the weeks, you can use them anyhow. But... For, you get 10k's worth of packs, but if you can get this done for less than 30k for 285 rated cards, they're nearly min price, that is. And you get a 10, 10k pack as well. I mean, mixed player pack is not nothing amazing, but you never know, you might get something decent out of it. So, yeah, there we go. SBC all done. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this one. Um, Hopefully it did save you some time and some money. Of course, feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel and the video. Obviously, if you're new and you want to see more SBC methods like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy and obviously, peace.